I gotta say, you guys, this OA2311 has been a dream to shoot. Look at that, just a beaut of a gun. Freaking love that. I've already shot approximately 300 plus rounds through the OA2311, and I gotta say, I'm <laughs> mega, mega impressed. Let me put out a couple rounds and we'll kind of go through it all. That was more than a couple rounds, I know that, but it's just, it's too fun. Okay, let's go reload. <laughs> So what I wanna do with this video today is do more of a first impressions, first shots out of the OA2311 by OA Defense. So I've run about 300 rounds so far on this and yeah, let's go shoot a few more rounds. I'll kinda of give you my thoughts and what I think about this, first of all. Sorry for the break, but here's what I'm doing in the month of May. If you're watching this video right now, you have a chance to win this OA2311. And no, this is not a joke by any means. Two months ago on the channel, we got a winner who won the Staccato CS, so congrats to that guy. If you wanna win this 2311, all you have to do is this. Go to the description below and click on that link. Once you get to that site, fill out your first name, last name, email, and phone number, and and then you must buy a collectible. When you buy a collectible, it gives you one entry to win this OA2311. And every time you buy collectible, it gives you another entry to try to increase your chances of winning this OA2311 that cost over $2,000. So if you want to try to win this OA2311, you better do it now because it all ends May 31st at 1159 PST. Best of luck to all of you guys. Now let's get back to the video. The OA2311 does come standard with 17 rounds plus one in the chamber. So you get a total of 18 rounds in this package right here. So yeah, love it. Of course, this OA2311 comes optics ready, uh, but for this video, just because it's the first impressions, I got no optic and no flashlight, kind of giving you the raw version of this before I put an optic on here and then a flashlight. And the holster that I'm using is by Daryl Holsters, and so it does fit the OA2311 quite well. Now, what do we have here? A lot of people online, from what I was reading, are saying that this is if like a 2011 and a 1911 got together, made a baby and put this out, the 2311. And this is uh, derived from the six hour P320 platform, right? And something really cool about this 2311 is if you do have a P320 by six hour, you can use any of those P320 magazines in the OA2311. Since I've been out here, I've been shooting, something that I do notice that I do like very much is the gas pedal on the left and right side. So ambidextrous gas pedal. And to me, that's a major, major plus because even on my staccato, there's no gas pedal. And when I go to present, I have my non-dominant thumb up here. Sometimes my thumb will impede on that slide when I have it up here, when I try to give it some gas and the slide will kind of bite my thumb and I realize and it reminds me that I have to bring it down just a bit more. And so this is really cool because OA Defense has brought this kind of to life on this pistol. And so if you shoot lefty, you have a gas pedal on the right side of the pistol. And so that's why I think I'm able to get off so many quick rounds so smoothly and just more accurately because of that given gas pedal. So I think that's a major plus on something like this. Speaking of ambidextrous controls like the gas pedal, we do have the safety as well. And then we do have the slide release on both sides as well. The trigger weight on here, it's rated on the website between four and four and a half pounds. But when I'm shooting it out here, I feel like it's closer to that four pounds. Let me give you a quick look into the trigger pull or trigger press, whatever you wanna say. All right, we are clear. All right, here we go. 
almost no wall, which is crazy. That creep is very quick. And then when you go to break, it's crisp. All right, so when I let go, did you see that? Practically no wall and then break it again. Wow. I mean, that to me is, is pretty wild. So that's when I say that you can gas this thing up and put a bunch of rounds down range in a short amount of time, you can, and you most certainly will. So you got to be careful because that is a very light trigger. The grip is a little bit wider. It's a little bit beefier and it's not like it's so big that it doesn't fit in your hand. Obviously, if you have super small hands, I would say I have medium sized hands. It does fit me rather well. Like I can fit my entire grip around it. As you can see, my thumb is just barely reaching over, which does make it a little harder for me to reach that mag release. And so when I do reach for the mag release, I kind of have to tilt the, the pistol kind of like this. You know, it's not that big of a deal. It's a, just a slight like little turn. It's a little degree turn that I have to make. I mean, it's just practice really, right? Like it's, it's not that bad. So to me, that's okay. And that's why I'm fine with the grip being a little bit more beefier and more on the bigger side. So, you know, not that big of a deal. And speaking of the grip, we do have quite a bit of texture on the grip all the way uh, on the right side, kind of on the rear here towards the bottom and also on the left hand side. And so I will say there are these ribs as well on the front side of the grip. So all around, you don't feel the grip texture, but it does help you in handling and maneuvering when you're shooting the gun. Now, of course, you guys can see there is a giant, a huge flared magwell. That flared magwell does help with handling reloads, inserting magazines and all that jazz. But Overall, <laughs> I do like how flared that magwell is. To me, it's just an instant, oh, there's my magwell. Here's my, oh, gotta shoot. Here's my magazine, insert. It feeds it in, it seats it in properly. Give it a nice push in there and you're solid, you're golden. Other things I noticed which do bring a benefit to the pistol is the five inch barrel. I mean, you wanna talk about deleting recoil? This might be it, five inch barrel is pretty gnarly like if you want to conceal carry this thing i mean you certainly could but man five inches of barrel that's that's wild <laughs> so now i'm coming up around 400 rounds through the oa 2311 and man i gotta say zero malfunctions zero misfeeds nothing like that i'm using uh pmc nine millimeter 115 grain ammo that's mainly the ammo that i use i love that pmc nine mil it's good ammo it's clean it works well and nothing's been going wrong with this pistol yet and so once i make that other video i want to get closer to that thousand round mark of course i'll have a optic and flashlight to me overall like first impressions shooting this gun out here for a couple hours so far it's been reliable it just feels good in the hand the safety feels super light it's smooth it, it just feels great in the hands. And it, again, that gas pedal really does bring everything together to me. Just because like the way I shoot is almost, I don't know, somewhat aggressive. And I like to go fast and just give it all the gas. And that gas pedal really does benefit me. And I feel like if you were to pick this up, you would also feel that same way, right? Uh, rear sight is just a basic rear sight. Uh, front sight is the tritium night sight. Uh, it's a nice red tritium nitite, which is awesome on there. But overall, great. <laughs> Man, dude, just a great feeling pistol. It's a great shooter. Like I said, no problems, no, no feeding issues, nothing like that, nothing with the magazine. So that right there is the OA-2311 by OA Defense. Is this something that you guys would pick up if you saw at your local gun shop? Do you plan on ordering this? What do you guys think? Coming in at a price point of 21, 2200 bucks, do you guys think you would want to get something like this? Comment down below. We'd love to know what you guys think. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Appreciate your support. And I want to get at least another five to 600 rounds through this. I will come out with another video and put a probably surefire up here and then an optic and kind of tell you how it runs after all those rounds, maybe shoot some more rounds. But yeah, thanks for watching and I will catch you in the next Johnny Q video. Peace out. Yeah, man. Oh, gotta go load up again.
Yeah, baby. I love that.